Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSumer, talking to you here. And in today's video, I want to talk about something interesting. I want to talk about the Intel Macs again. And should you buy an Intel Mac in 2022 slash 2023? Because we are right away in December, almost at the end of the year. And so I want to ask this question. Now, entering 2023, is it still worth it buying an Intel Mac after three years that we started this transition. So let me grab my Intel MacBook to have some, some piece of a showdown to try to have something while I'm talking. So if you don't mind, let me just quickly grab my Intel Mac. I'll be back. So I'm back and this is my Intel MacBook. As you can see, this is a 2016 MacBook Pro 13 inch. I made a video on this MacBook and why it's the worst MacBook ever. But this is just a mere representation of what the Intel Mac was in its worst days. Today, I don't want to talk about the worst Intel Macs ever, but simply the most recent Intel Macs. Like, which Intel Macs are still worth buying? Should you still buy an Intel Mac or should you right away jump into the cheapest Apple Silicon version, the M1 MacBooks? Either a MacBook if you need a laptop or the Mac Mini if you need a desktop. So, let's talk about all of this. Should you buy the Intel Mac or not in this video? No further ado, not forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and roll the intro. So, Intel has been on Macs forever, and with them, tons of support for x86 apps, and, in my opinion, the best feature, boot camping Windows. These are the two main factors for you, a customer, today, wanting to buy an Intel Mac and looking for an Intel Mac. If you want a Windows computer, but with great, great optimization for Windows and great build, like premium build, you want to look for an Intel Mac. I know they are expensive, but now with Apple Silicon, they are not as much overpriced as they should be on the used market. Then, of course, there's the fact that you have x86 support and bootcamping now can use this machine as a Windows proprietary machine and still have macOS on the back burner, which is still great because macOS, in my opinion, is the best version of your software for a computer. So you still have the great compatibility for Windows, so every x86 app will be available. You still have bootcamping for Windows, which is also great. You will have a premium machine with amazing speakers, amazing keyboard, amazing trackpad, especially if you go for the 16-inch MacBook Pro, you will have a premium build, you will have very good battery life, all of that on a Windows machine. Something that is very, very difficult to buy in 2022, 2023, Windows laptops and computers. So yeah, I don't want to start this video being negative again against the Intel Macs because I've made a video comparing this Intel Mac against my M1 Max MacBook Pro and that was completely carnage, that was like savagery that my people completely destroyed the Intel Mac. But today's video purpose is more like, should you buy the Intel Mac and take a look at both sides, the good and the bad. And this MacBook or the Intel Macs in general, they have good sides to them over Apple Silicon. They are not much. They are totally overpowered by the worst side of it, but I still believe they are worth it in some occasions. So what can they be? Well, let's start by the first boot camping. Boot camping a MacBook with Intel is really, really easy. You just need to go online, download the Windows 11 drivers, and simply open Bootcamp app on your Intel Mac and downloading Bootcamp. This will partitionate your disk and it will divide it in two, one for Windows, one for macOS. If you love using macOS, this is a great option for you. Then, of course, if you do really need Windows, you have the Windows option. This is, in my opinion, the biggest thing for the Intel Macs going forward. People that want to use a Windows and a Mac software and don't, don't really want to use Parallels VM. For example, I have Windows 11 on my MacBook Pro. Yes, for 3D work on university, I need it. And for that, I really need Windows. So I use Parallels. This one doesn't have Parallels because I don't really need it. I just download Bootcamp and it's like a native install for Windows. x86 Windows, like Windows 10, Windows 8, whatever. We want to download it there, Windows 7, it works. For people that want to use port, uh, programs that work with Windows 7, Windows 10, and they really need the x86 support for legacy programs and apps, like industrial apps, which are very slow to update to new architectures, then it makes very much sense to buy actually Intel Mac, because these softwares will take a long time to update to Apple Silicon. They won't run as optimized as they would be. And finally, the worst part of it all, you would lose on the Apple hardware, which is almost as good as Apple's software. The Mac OS. So 
yeah, the first reason to buy an Intel Mac in 2022, 2023 might be boot camping and Windows in general. So take a reflection, think about yourself. Do I need boot camp? This Windows, the most important part while buying an Apple Silicon Mac. If it is, then you might be better taking a look at very cheap Windows Macs. For example, try to find a 16 inch MacBook Pro, the 2019 version. It has the best Apple hardware with Intel Macs. Try to find it for a very good price, lower than $2,000 for sure. And we'll get a very powerful i9 with a very powerful Radeon Pro GPU and still a good performance, but take in mind, it will be a very loud machine. The battery life won't be as great, don't be as bursty as is Intel Max, but still a great machine overall and capable of running x86 apps and boot camping. So that's an advantage for you then. Totally go for an Intel Mac in 2022 slash 2023. The next reason to buy an Intel Mac in 2022 and 2023, and this is probably the, main, the worst one, is gaming. Yes, if you want a game on a Mac, you still want to have Mac OS, you want a game, then still the Intel Macs are probably your best choice. But not the worst Intel Macs, like not the cheap Intel Macs. Those are not that great. Those won't be able to game. If you want a game, then the only option for you right now is a 16 inch MacBook Pro with Intel inside with the i9. Try to find it again. Cheap, very cheap, and install Windows and run games natively there. That may, may be your only option. Either that or buy the M1 Max MacBook Pro or some M1 Mac, M2 Mac, install Parallels VM and run your games. Slower, but still on an Apple Silicon, nonetheless. So gaming, boot camping might be the two reasons to upgrade for an Intel Mac in 2022, but there's not only two and they are few and they don't convince most people. That's why Intel Macs are dying out on the secondary market. So let's take a look on the reasons why you should not buy an Intel Mac in 2022 slash 2023. Well, it's quite simple. Intel Macs are outdated. Intel Macs now have Intel, which Apple will probably drop support in the next few years. So do not expect much macOS software support for those Macs. They will probably kick off the macOS train in a few years because Apple wants to focus on their own silicon, optimize their own software for their own silicon, and they want to drag their software on old Intel Macs. Probably the, the, probably the last Mac to be completely dropped from software support will be the 2019 Mac Pro. That will be probably the last Intel Mac ever Let's pray for that, that that's as soon that Apple updates this computer. It's the latest Apple Mac that still has Intel inside. So yeah, I don't see why Apple will keep supporting these computers in the future. I think they will die in the future in the next five years. And so it's a very big reason not to upgrade your computer because if you only have software support for five years and after that, kaboom, it's gone, it's obsolete. Why should you buy it? Even if it's cheaper than buying an Apple Silicon Mac, its lifetime is shortened a lot. So yeah, I think that buying an Intel Mac right now, it's only for specific people that really want gaming, bootcamp support, x86 apps. That's probably the only reason to buy an Intel Mac in 2022, 2023. If you are looking for a very cheap Mac and you're thinking, oh, but I don't have much money to spend, less than $600, $700, where can I buy a Mac and cheap? Intel is only my only option. I don't have any options. Well, stop right there. You have an option. Listen to me. What computer do you need? Do you need a laptop? Do you need a desktop? Well, first answer this question. If you do need a laptop, then the only option is the M1 MacBook Air. Try to find it cheap, refurbished, best buy Apple. The price is very fair on those 700 and you can find it used for $600. If you are looking for a desktop, then it's even easier for you because you have the M1 Mac mini. The M1 Mac mini is so cheap. Like you don't understand how cheap it is. Go fi find it on Best Buy at the Apple store. Like there is 599 for the base model Mac mini refurbished, which is a brand new computer. It's a really good deal. Do not buy Intel Macs because you want a cheap Mac. Buy an Intel Mac because you really want and you crave those two reasons. X86 bootcamp and gaming. If you don't want those, then simply go for an M1 Mac. I think that the M1 Macs are really cheap now, they are amazing value and they are still very fast, very capable computers. This is still an M1 Mac, it's an M1 Max, the powerfulest version of the M1, but still an M1. So don't be worried about the M1 being a 2020 version of a CPU, don't worry, the M2 is not much better than that, so don't really worry about the M2 being faster than the M1 because it's not that much. Do not forget that Apple Silicon also enabled new stuff 
on Macs. For example, promotion, for example, continuity camera, university control, sidecar, tons of stuff that were enabled by Apple Silicon. Of course, sidecar works on Intel Macs, but it's way better on Apple Silicon. Continuity camera works way better on Apple Silicon. And of course, promotion is only available right now on Apple Silicon computers. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for the next features and the future of Apple Silicon can bring to the Mac lineup. So keep in mind, the M1 Mac Mini, M1 MacBook Air, the two targets for you if you want to get a new Mac for cheap. So yeah, that's the reasons why I wouldn't buy an Intel Mac in 2022, 2023. And that's the reasons why I don't recommend you, you buying an Intel Mac in 2022, 2023. But let me know in the comments down below, do you still use an Intel Mac? If you do, well, I pray for you and your ears because you have to hear those fans run all day. But if you have an Apple Silicon computer, let me know your experience in the comments down below. I really love my M1 Max MacBook Pro. It's my favorite computer ever. And Apple Silicon has not been far from perfect for me. So yeah, I'm really excited for the rest of the Apple Silicon transition. I do not recommend you getting an Intel Mac only if you want to game or run Windows on bootcamp. Other than that, the Intel Macs are probably dead and for good because those computers were really, really power hungry and they made the MacBook lineup look bad. So yeah. Probably Intel will probably start producing Apple Silicon in the future, so I don't really worry about until the Intel dying. But under the fact that these will be Apple Silicon chips, ARM chips, chips made by Apple, designed by Apple, and Intel will be only the manufacturer. Well, Intel in the past was the provider. But let me know in the comments down below what is your thoughts on the Apple Silicon transition. Do you still want to buy an Intel Mac? Do you have an Intel Mac? Let me know your experience in the comments down below. While you're there, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow my social networks. Twitter and Instagram. This has been Tech Summer talking to you here. Bye.